Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf, and we are back in Game Maker Studio 2. This time we're going to be looking at sprites, yes. Now, I know sprites are not the most exciting thing to look at, even though they make most of your game. But uh, with tile sets coming up and uh, a couple other things I want to show you, uh, I think it makes sense to first cover sprites. So, uh, well, to get started, let's just quickly create a new sprite over here in this pretty large project I have going on now, just from random showing. And uh, as you can see, the editor looks very different now because, um, well, on the left side, it looks mostly the same, uh, with the exception of being able to uh, resize your sprite from within this first editor. In fact, I'm gonna make it a uh, 128 just for later. But you also have uh, a couple uh, already existing features here, but they're slightly better shown and this uh, texture groups down here. A couple options for collision masks and something I find very important, they actually show you the speed of uh, each different uh, each different methods. And something I didn't know was that ellipse, diamond and so on were slow. I thought only precision per frame was slow, but I guess that's something uh, why I actually quite like this. It actually points out that ellipse, collisions and so on are actually not all that fast. Uh, I'm actually going to resize this to be the right size, even though it won't matter since this is just a testing project. And let's actually get down to watching uh, how we can actually start editing the sprite. So first of all here you can create a bunch of frames uh, if you want and uh, delete them over here. You can also change uh, up here, uh, start viewing the animation. Uh, you'll be able to sit down here. No, you can't see much now because all the frames are empty. Changing the speed of the sprite is quite important uh, along with um, having like frames per game frame and stuff like that, which allows you to see the game uh, based on, uh, see the animation based on how fast the game is actually gonna run. Actually, that's something I wanna cover later on, but uh, as you'll find out, uh, Game Maker Studio 2 has a global frame rate system, which actually is uh, much nicer than having the previous system, which allowed you to have different frame rates based on different rooms. So uh, let's go into the actual image editor and see how we can start uh, drawing. So as you can see, you have uh, your canvas down here. You have your animation up here, which is quite nice to quickly change between different frames. And on the right, you have your different tools. So you have a bunch of different uh, square brushes you can change between, as well as round brushes, which is nice. A huge color palette, which is uh, far better than uh, the one we previously had, including the uh, option to import from different sprites and copy from different sprites which is really nice um, if you have a general color palette going for your entire game. Speaking of color palettes, down here you can see that the, the most used uh, colors you've been using. So you can quickly build up your color palette and then only navigate from that. You can of course click inside these boxes here and have the much more uh, fine-tuned uh, system where you can uh, get much nicer colors and uh, allowing you to much more easily switch between a uh, fi fine amount of color. So there is a, a bunch of different tools as well, including a much better text tool you can start typing with. Um, you also get uh, this uh, triangle tool down here. Uh, you have a nice uh, square tool and actually something that's quite nice uh, once you uh, Noticed also that we have uh, these curve tools, which are incredible from within a sprite editor. You have something else which is uh, quite cool. That is, if you take a selection tool and start copying something, you now have it as a brush. So I can start drawing like this some white stuff and select this brush and start putting it uh, in different places. Now, this may seem like a cool novelty, but not that useful. But actually, as I've been playing around with things, I found that it's quite nice uh, for uh, general shading effects or if you have a, a, a brush you want to use in multiple sprites it does come in quite handy. Also the repetitive nature of what you can make can give a nice texture to it too. Now the most uh, exciting feature I would say uh, that we have here in Game Maker Studio 2 sprite editor is, being, is the animation tools they built in. So yes you can choose to um, for example, if I were to grab a normal brush, uh, start animating on each frame like so, 
uh, add different things, but uh, more importantly you can then press play and see the animation play. Now this is where it gets really quite cool. You can start drawing your uh, animations whilst it's being played. So if I start doing this little squiggly lines like that, it kind of looks a bit like uh, lightning bolts kind of. Maybe if I was a better artist, uh, it'll be more apparent. But you can start building up your animations doing this. I think a demo they had was um, someone drawing fire, which was really quite cool. Uh, as you can see, you can notice these little bouncing things. But yes, uh, it's a very powerful tool. Uh, if you're more creative than me, you can probably start getting some really nice looking animations. Uh, I mean, even I just messing around right now whilst making this video. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with uh, this feature. So uh, much better uh, sprites should be able to create it from within Game Maker Studio. I know that's kind of a symptom that Game Maker had before where a lot of people would still choose to use the built-in editor and end up with not so good looking sprites simply because the tools weren't that mature. And now I believe that this is one of the better sprite editors available, especially for animation. Uh, and so I think I'll be using it a lot more. So this is uh, it for the sprite editor itself. If we go back into the actual sprite uh, window here, you can start seeing now that you can still see the animation down here uh, as usual. You can change the speed to see what it would look like at different frames per second if you were to change it from within your game. And you also have all the normal uh, features that you had before in Game Maker Studio 1.4. So this is it really for sprites. Uh, as you can see, they're not that exciting. Uh, one thing I want to mention, again, something else which is quite cool, is that if you go from within your room, create an asset layer, and were to bring in an animated sprite, um, it will actually animate in your room. As you can see, I press the little play button up here, I can pause and play it again. And you can preview the animations from your room. This is really nice, you can see animations from different assets, from even tiles, which I'm gonna have to cover in this next video. So yes, next video I am gonna finally cover tiles. Uh, if you've been following along with uh, what people have been talking about from Game Maker Studio 2, you will know that tile sets are incredible in this version. They are finally properly made. So I'll have to cover this in the next video. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Maker tutorials.